Initiating system one. So back to the sniper rifles we go. What do we have in our offer this time? Whoa. What would you like when it comes to a designated marksman's rule? With that, you're gonna have to be using two shots instead of one. There is one weapon in this class that we can use for that regard. Today, you're gonna be using the M21. The M21 sniper weapon system is actually the M14 rifle, and it was designed and put into service in 1969 by the US Army. They needed a weapon that would be used for the Vietnam War for sniping roles, and the M14 was elected due to its reliability, accuracy, and quick follow-up shots. It was used and given by a telescope sight and a national match ammo. It was used in the Vietnam War, but was not used up entirely up until the 80s, where the invasion of Granada was done, and it gained popularity in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars up in, in the early 2000s. Like mentioned earlier, the M21 has the weakest damage out of all the sniper rifles. It only needs a one-shot kill when it only comes to the head. Other than that, the body, the arms, the legs, and the torso all need two shots in order to kill. Your range is all the same as the sniper rifles. There is no drop-off penalty whatsoever. And your penetration ability is going to be high, like all the other sniper rifles included. Like most of the semi-auto weapons, you do have a very high fire rate, but this isn't recommended due to the recoil of the weapon at 1200 rounds per minute, and with the perk double tap equip makes it even worse at 1621 rounds per minute. With the recoil it is going to be impossible to use the sniper rifle if you use it at that high fire rate. Your hip fire is pretty poor as well, like all the other sniper rifles, and is not recommended at point blank range. You should recommend using your knife, or your pistol at least, before using your hip fire ability. Speaking of recoil, your recoil is going to be low to moderate. It's a mixed bag really, so you have unpredictable recoil. But with your aim time, it is about the same as all the other sniper rifles at 400 milliseconds, which is pretty slow. Your switch time, however, is pretty poor as well, because of it being a sniper rifle. At 700 milliseconds down, and then what going up, 800 milliseconds. And your movement speed is about the same as the sniper rifles and the assault rifles, at 95%. Magazine size, however, is 10 rounds. With your starting supply, you also start with 20, and with the 10 included in your weapon, you'll have a total of 30 rounds. This is tied with the Dragonoff and the Bear 50 Cal, tied with the most amount of rounds at least. Your reload, however, is not much like the bolt actions. Your reloads are going to be entirely separated, with all the rounds included, at 2.5 seconds, a moderate time. Our build this weapon it's not going to be good as a one-shot sniper rifle. If you put stopping power equipped, it's only going to work within the chest as well, so you will have to demand some accuracy. But instead, we're going to be using it at a medium to long range sniper rifle, or battle rifle at least. We're going to be doing quick follow-up shots, and we're going to be using supply, stealth, and penetration ability with this weapon. For the sniper rifles, you only have one optic to choose from, but we are going to be choosing an optic of your choice. The sniper rifles, they're pretty good when it comes to long range. You can hold your breath to ensure accuracy, but you do have to endure the tunnel vision and you'll be able to be vulnerable within a medium to short range. But when it comes to medium to semi long range, the ACOG scope will no doubt be a better choice. It'll give you better recoil, a faster aim time, but you do have to deal with all the sway. And you can't hold your breath when it comes to it as well, even with iron lungs. So when it comes to the range, it's all entirely yours. 
but I prefer the sniper scope because of it for long ranges, and you can ensure headshots even faster or easier along with it. For our first perk choice, we are going to be heading to Supply. And what other perk is better with Supply than Bandoiler? With Bandoiler equipped, you will have the most maximum amount of ammo possible. With 70 rounds equipped, you can kill anyone with days. But with a 10 round magazine, you'll be able to kill at least 5 people if you're really accurate. But if not, you'll be able to kill within 2 or 3 people within an entire magazine. But since this is a rapid firing weapon, it can easily dispense your ammo like candy, and you could be left entirely dry within a couple of kills. But if you don't mind that, if you don't mind using all 30 rounds precisely, then the Claymore Times 2 perk can be a good idea too, if you're going to be staying at one spot. Second up, UAV Jammer will be a good idea when it comes to stealth. With this, you'll be able to be undetected by the UAVs that are going to be constantly be scanning all over. And since the UAV is always a constant kill streak that's always used within 3 kills, then this will no doubt be stealthier with you on the move. And with that, you'll be able to be going in position after position while firing. Since you're going to be firing, you're going to be exposed. But if you keep on going on the move, this will be seldom a problem for you and everyone will be guessing where you'll be at next. But if you prefer speed, then sleight of hand could be a good idea as well. Since you're going to be chewing through all those 10 round magazines, you're going to be having a faster reload than that of the 2.5 second reload. Lastly, within the perks, we are going to be choosing penetration. Another perk is good at that than deep impact. With deep impact, it's better when it comes to getting damage behind enemies that are going to be in cover, and it will give you more reliable kills within a few shots than just spraying all over the place when it comes to your designated marksman rifle. But you can accurately play shots if you're even going against other snipers as well, which will be very sufficient. And if you're really good when it comes to it, you could use other perks as well to distinct out your advantage. But with this weapon, always stay on the move and keep on guessing where your enemy is going to be coming from and this weapon can no doubt serve you well. The M21 is an efficient sniper rifle. It might not have the damage compared to the other sniper rifles, but it does have damage that is compared to the battle rifles or even the M60, the G3 and the M14 as well. But unlike the other three weapons, you can have two shots to kill, and one when it comes to a headshot, except this weapon has a telescopic scope, or sniper scope at least, and can be effective at semi-long to long range. It can be adapted as a marksman's rifle, like the G3 and the M14, so this thing can be pretty adaptable. Unlike the other sniper rifles, as mentioned earlier, the M21 has the worst damage within all the sniper rifles, even close to the M40. But all the other sniper rifles only need one shot to be sufficient, and you only need two. And even with stopping power, the weapon is pretty bad. You would only have to aim up to the chest to be very sufficient, but the others would have to aim even lower in order to be sufficient. But, it's also bad when it comes to the handling and hip fire as well, and that can be only be used at a last resort, or if you're switching to a pistol if you're out of ammo. It's horrible at close range, and obviously horrible at medium range as well. But overall, this weapon can be a two hit rifle, and has better recoil than that of the M14, and has better range than the M14. So use it in the back, and you'll easily be successful in getting two-shot kills, and even when it comes to snipers as well.
Okay, okay. So the M21 doesn't have that much damage, but compared to the other sniper rifles, this weapon can easily do follow-up shots. But if you encounter this weapon, you're gonna have more than just a simple scratch. Thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to vote, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And be sure to look at my Twitch page and my Facebook page down below. And for our next episode, we are going to be reviewing the Dragonoff Sniper Rifle. Until then, Galactic Storm saying, I'll see you guys later.